Welcome to my video blog. In this blog I discuss construction issues as related to my past and present projects. The project featured in this video will be an energy retrofit for an older south side Bozeman home. We will be improving the energy efficiency of the home by replacing siding and adding exterior insulation and upgrading the windows. After removing the old shingled siding we will be wrapping the entire exterior wall surface of the house with a layer of half inch thick insulation. On top of the insulation we will apply certain teed weatherboards fiber cement siding. This rigid insulation will only have an R value of 3 but the real benefit will be to reduce thermal bridging that occurs through the exterior wall framing. A thermal bridge is created when materials that are poor thermal insulators come into contact allowing heat or cold to flow through the path created. Typical insulated wall cavities allow limited energy transfer. The problem is that the insulation on either side of a wall stud is of little help in preventing heat loss or gain due to thermal bridging. A thermal break of rigid foam placed in the wall assembly will greatly reduce the flow of thermal energy between conductive materials. For this project, the insulation is continuous at the corners under the trim and at the window openings. The insulation is cut to fit tight and taped at the seams. Methodically taping seams will help eliminate exterior air infiltration. We want to eliminate air infiltration, but we don't want to trap water vapor. We have chosen this expanded polystyrene product because of its water vapor permeability. This material has a perforated foil face on the inside and a water resistant face on the outside. The ability for this insulation to breathe is critical. The CPS material is manufactured locally by Big Sky Insulation in Belgrade. The second part of this energy efficiency retrofit is to replace the existing windows. These old windows were breaking down and leaking. In older homes, windows are often one of the largest sources of unwanted energy transfer. I'm not going to get into the technical minutia of U factors or R values. We will just look at general principles. Windows lose and gain heat in four ways. Conduction, radiation, convection, and air leakage. Conduction is the direct transfer of heat through a solid material to the outdoors. Radiant transfer is the movement of heat as infrared energy through the glass. Convection occurs when air gives up its heat to the cooler glass and sinks to the floor. As the stream of air drops, warm air rushes in to take its place at the glass surface. This convective loop is self-perpetuating. You recognize this movement as a cold draft. We have ordered the replacement windows for this project from Bridger Glass. Bridger Glass is a local Gallatin Valley company. We will be using the Energy Star rated Thermal Pro window series by Cascade. These are vinyl casement windows designed for good thermal performance. These windows incorporate foam filled frames and low E argon gas filled insulated glass as standard features. Our insulated glass includes a high density foam spacer system. Since there is no metal in this system it provides excellent thermal performance by reducing the amount of temperature difference that can be conducted through the perimeter of the insulated glass unit. In a cold climate we welcome the sun's heat and light most of the time and once we capture the heat we don't want to give it up. A low E coating is a microscopically thin virtually invisible metal or metallic oxide layer deposited on a glazing surface. The coating reflects heat back into the home during cold weather and back to the outdoors during warm weather. This effect increases the insulating value of the window. We were able to order our replacement windows to the exact size of the existing framed openings as opposed to being limited to standard sizes and having to modify the existing framing. The wall insulation detail and the new windows will make a dramatic difference in this home's comfort level in both winter and summer. Not only will this home be more comfortable but the energy savings for heating should significantly reduce wintertime utility bills. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more information on my construction background, you can go to peterqbrown.com. If you have a remodel or construction project that you think might be interesting to document and share, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching.